Mike Sierra one can't handle the truth. You're a cheat and a swindler. That's what you are. How can you do a thing like this? I am authorized to assure you these rumors are based on hysteria and are absolutely false. I repeat, these rumors are absolutely false. Welcome back. And thank you for joining me as we take another dive into the relentless lies of Mike Zero. In the last video, I briefly touched on the amount of time Zero actually talks about the subject he has put in his videos, the ones with all those rather deceptive and misleading thumbnails. It's one thing to make a 9 minute video out of nothing, but would you be surprised to learn that he repurposes his already fake content to go off and make even more videos with it? Unless there is some form of major change to an already laid out set of facts, there is no real need to go back to what is essentially old news, but Zero just can't help himself. And there is one person and one subject he won't leave alone, and that's Kathleen Kennedy and her never-ending imminent firing. So seeing how he has released another video in the past few days about her and her leaving, stroke firing, I'm going to show you, beyond any reasonable doubt, that he has lied to fans about her firing for years. However, it's explained that Disney currently has a plan to fire Kathleen Kennedy sometime during this year of 2020, where it's noted that Disney is down to three different candidates that will replace Kennedy and that they are in the process of choosing who will be the one to take over Kennedy's role as head of Lucasfilm. Now, Disney is said to have a plan to fire Kathleen Kennedy lightly, where it won't be publicly revealed that she is getting let go and that it will be demonstrated that she is stepping down. Though ironically Kennedy also wants to leave Lucasfilm since she no longer has creative control over the existing Star Wars projects in the early development phase, by quarter three of 2020 Disney plans to make a final decision out of the three, out of the three candidates of who will replace Kennedy sometime in quarter four of 2020 that will go into full effect in early 2021 next year once the new year begins. Now you're probably thinking he seems to know what he's talking about. Those cheeky chappies over at Lucas and Disney are going to give Kathleen the old heave-ho, but not right away. Nope, they're going to wait it out for a while and pretend she's going to step down, but she will be gone by sometime in early 2021. And just for reference, that video was posted on the 24th of March, 2020. Now it's noted that currently the new Disney CEO is cleaning up house over at Lucasfilm by bringing in new creators for the future of Star Wars where it's explained that Lucasfilm is getting ready to replace Kathleen Kennedy with a brand new president for the company by the new Disney CEO Bob Chapek who is said to now have an actual candidate for the new president of Lucasfilm. Now it's noted that this plan is set to go into effect sometime in late 2020 and that Kathleen Kennedy has actually met with Bob Chapek about who will be replacing her as the head of Lucasfilm. Now it's noted that this plan by Disney is to ensure that the Star Wars brand can live on to be very successful and to be the best it can be without Kathleen Kennedy's poor leadership skills. This is said to also be in response to the prop to the actual poor box office results from The Rise of Skywalker and how the movie did not make anywhere near as much as The Last Jedi's and that by halting Kathleen Kennedy's power over creative choices as the first step, the next step is by replacing her with the new candidate that was actually chosen by Disney's Bob Chapek that will change the Star Wars brand as we know it. We move forward now to the 7th of April 2020 and Zero has gone from three candidates to just one that Bob Chapek has now picked. All of that happened in roughly the space of 15 days. So to summarize, Bob had three candidates, has picked one to replace Kennedy by the latter part of 2020, but the full takeover of Kennedy's position won't happen until sometime in 2021. In most scenarios this would be called, edging your bets. He is just laying the foundations for himself to progress with this clickbait news story for as long as possible. Where it's noted that the Disney CEO Bob Chapek has come to a decision where he is going to have the ability to fire Kathleen Kennedy from Lucasfilm earlier than her contract expires. It's said that Chapek already has his lineup of candidates for the new president of Lucasfilm and that even though Kathleen Kennedy is willing to leave Lucasfilm very soon, Chapek is described to have a plan to fire her very soon later this year that will go into full effect sometime next year. It's said that Kathleen Kennedy has known that this was coming and in the talks for a while now and that her stepping down voluntarily was going to be her cover-up story as to why she was leaving Lucasfilm. 
Now, though Chapek is not firing Kennedy this instant, the plan is to let her go later this year in 2020. That will go into full effect sometime in 2021, with George Lucas taking over temporarily on the business end of things for the Star Wars franchise before Chapek chooses his permanent solution. Once again, we move in a chronological order to July the 15th, 2020. And it would seem that Bob Chapek has lost his marbles, because he is back with three candidates again, despite picking someone back in April. Of course we aren't allowed to know who he picked, but that's all we need to know from Zero, then it's down to you and me to spend hours on the internet, trying to substantiate the claims he has made. And that's the rub with all these videos, the amount of evidence to validate Zero's claims just doesn't exist. Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy is said to be leaving Star Wars and Lucasfilm sometime in 2021 next year, and that a lot of this has to do with Disney CEO Bob Chapek pushing for Kennedy to leave earlier than expected, and that she is essentially fired from the Star Wars franchise, and that this will go into full effect next year. Creator George Lucas is said to be set to take over Lucasfilm temporarily before the permanent solution will be applied by Bob Chapek where he still has three permanent candidates to take over the role as president. So let's tap into this for just a second. In case you guys did not know about this massive change that's happening right now, is that Bob Chapek has currently three candidates, one of which is going to be John Favreau for the permanent solution of who's going to become the official president of Lucasfilm after Kathleen Kennedy leaves. A huge time jump here as we move to the 1st of October 2020 and Zero is still pushing that Kennedy is not only going, but she is in fact actually fired. Now you're probably thinking, hang on, she's still there. And you would be right, but we are gonna keep on going, because the lies just keep getting better. And as I said earlier, this is about setting out your stall and playing people for as long as possible. He might have to move the goalposts along the way, but that won't bother him either. The spokesperson also reveals that we know that a large portion of the fan base does not support Kathleen Kennedy and her impact on the Star Wars brand, and that it does stand for her. However, the spokesperson eventually unveiled that the board members did in fact have talks about finding a new replacement for Kathleen Kennedy in the near future, as Mr. Chapek suggested. However, those conversations won't be more serious until the fall or early 2022. Meanwhile, behind the scenes and separate from all of this, it's described that Disney is planning to actually get rid of Kathleen Kennedy by sometime in 2022 in order to focus on creating better Star Wars material. Another massive time jump which will bring you one year and two months further down the line, and as I said and you can clearly hear, Zero has moved the goalposts. That last clip was from a video posted back in May, the 28th of May 2021 to be precise. She was fired. Going in 2021, George Lucas was brought in. Favreau was picked and that's all gone out the window as those pesky higher-ups have decided instead to do all this again in 2022. We are almost at the end of this video, because even up to this point I think I could rest my case about Zero's blatant lies. But I have just one more section I would like to share with you. A few weeks after Kathleen Kennedy's contract was extended by another three years, Zero decided to make another video. Please bear in mind what you have already heard when it comes to what's being said next. Now further is described that Bob Chapek is already well into the talks with the higher-ups over at Disney in order to replace Kathleen Kennedy with a new president to take over Lucasfilm by the end of this year. Initially, Chapek wanted to do this in 2021, however got held up with no candidates ready to take on the role as president, which forced Disney to keep Kennedy on for quite some time. Oh, it gets better. Eight months after that clip, he was back again. Their updated plan for replacing Kathleen Kennedy as the president of Lucasfilm before her contract ends in 2024. Now the initial plan by Bob Chapek wants to fire her in 2021. That was his original plan. However, as it turns out, that time, of course, nobody wanted the job or to fix Kathleen Kennedy's mess with the franchise. However, now the big plan by Chapek is to replace Kathleen Kennedy with somebody else that is more fitted for the job by 2023 next year. It's described that as of now, Bob Chapek has over five candidates that want to take over the role as president of Lucasfilm to replace Kathleen Kennedy and that Chapek is planning to create a meeting about the entire plan sometime by this fall 
with these Hollywood producers. Now the big plan for 2023 is to replace Kathleen Kennedy with George Lucas, temporarily speaking, for the role of Lucasfilm president to set things up for the permanent solution. With Jon Favreau, who recently got a big promotion over at Lucasfilm, he hasn't really expressed all that much interest in taking over the role, as this is looking unlikely. However, Disney is very eager to replace Kennedy with one out of the five candidates that are big time Hollywood producers. One of which is said to be Steven Spielberg, who expressed great interest in taking that role, and Disney executives actually added him to the list. Also, Jerry Buckenheimer wants to fulfill that position, also added onto the list. The three other candidates are currently unknown. Mike Zero has perpetuated this lie about Kennedy's firing since the latter part of 2018. He insisted that Bob Chapek had come up with some grand plan to get rid of her before her contract was renewed, and now after her contract was extended. He has changed the outcome of his videos constantly to make it seem like the firing of Kathleen Kennedy was always around the corner, and keep those who are not big fans of hers chomping at the bit, but it never came in 2021, and it never came in 2022, and 2022 is almost over. So he has set it all up to run the whole thing over again, hoping that no one will notice what has come before, and even if you did, what would it matter? It was all Bob Chapek's fault for not having enough people, or one person to fill the role, not that it was some clickbaiter taking you for a ride for nearly five years in total. If you made it this far I congratulate you, and if you're confused, I wouldn't blame you. Thank you for watching, take care, I'll see you again soon.